is a, this is a really good one. This is a really good one, folks. You know those 90 degree days that we've had? Well, fortunately, that's going to be over for a while and we are setting up uh, to a situation that might actually be very beneficial for us this coming weekend. This morning, we actually had a wind shift line somewhere around midnight. So we are having a northeast wind right now. And you can see how we're picking up a little shower activity to the north. The frontal system's already passed. This is the moisture coming down. That's not significant rainfall, but it is in the region. You can see it right about there. Now here we are, the closest stuff is way up here, uh, just to the north of the Goliad and the Refugio areas. Uh, if you are going to you know, be driving around, you're gonna run into from some light rain uh, associated with this. Uh, there's our front, that is already south of us, and this activity is actually gonna knock the temperature down to about 81 today. And that's, that's really, really nice. Now, that sets us up for a better front. This one is going to be much larger. And of course, we have to thank the ridge of high pressure, uh, the bubble of hot air, as I call it, that finally moved back to Baja California. And that is allowing that northwest wind over North America to come down into our region and allow that front to actually make it through. Now, you know, it is May. It's very rare for us to get a significant front this time of the year. Here are the forecast highs. You can see they're in the 80s. That's better than the 103 they had just a couple days ago. The hot weather is now rolling out to the southwest. But for us, here's the big news. It's Saturday with a little luck. We'll see A, the continuation of that ridge moving away. Front number one dropping south. That's not gonna last for very long. Tomorrow is good, but then we'll start warming up for Thursday, Friday. But here it is on Friday night and into Saturday morning. The frontal system comes down and sticks around. Now, because it's going to have uh, more, uh, probably more moisture and more instability. Remember, all the stability is out here. The instability is here. That should allow uh, the uh, activity to pop as rain showers. So, with a little luck, that's going to help us out on Saturday. Now, you know, we were just doing the story about the need for rain. This could be a huge blessing if we get it like we expected. So, we're going to call it, of course, the wind already shifted. 81 a day, not bad, mostly cloudy or partly cloudy with just a light rain shower or two. Sunny for tomorrow, then warm and windy Friday, but late Friday night, even you know, about midnight, maybe even 10 o'clock, uh, we'll start seeing rain showers come down. The front comes through and we may actually have a couple thunder showers in the scattered rain activity for Saturday. I'm thinking Saturday will be kind of a wet day, but that's good, we, we really, really need that. And here's the better news, by the time we get to Sunday, all of that will clear away just in time for you to give a grandma and mom a phone call. <laughs> that's your seven day forecast, Mike, over to you. Yeah.